Welcome y'all to Whiplash TV. Thanks for coming back to check out another video. Today, I'm going to work on my wife's 2005 GMC Duramax. And overall, this truck, in my opinion, is a great looking truck. However, there's a few things that can be done to still yet improve on the looks. And today, I'm going to tackle one of those things. These headlights and turn signals are a really nice setup, in my opinion. I think they look good on the truck. However, they've been on the truck for a while with the previous owner before we even bought the truck. So just looking at them, I can tell that there's places where like bugs weren't gotten off for some time and they've just taken kind of a little bit of a weather beating to them as well. So today I'm gonna work on freshening them up. I've never done this before, so it'll be my first time. So I'm gonna try to show y'all any tips and tricks along the way that I learn. And one thing that I have learned and researched is that you want to not only remove some of the yellowing scratches and, you know, things that are on the lens, but then also it's very important that whatever kit you get or whatever stuff you use, you have to somehow, some way seal back up the headlight surface. Otherwise, it's just going to turn yellow or crack or have stuff happen again really quickly. After doing a bit of research, I also found that one kit that seemed to work really well for a lot of people, believe it or not, is this kit right here made by Turtle Wax. This kit right here has everything you need to not only renew the surface, but also to seal it back up after you've knocked down the blemishes and everything on top of the lens so first let's take a good look at these headlights and see what they look like before we get started when you get real close on it you can tell from the side that some of it does look pretty clear like over here on this side is about the most clear area but then when we look at it from the front there is a lot of bug splatter stuff and just discoloration to it, including up on top, areas where it's not very clear. So I think we can definitely improve upon that surface right there. Here's the passenger one. Some of the factory clear on the light is kind of, I don't know, discolored or peeled off or something. It has the same thing, some bug guts and other junk on it. This current condition is after I've already washed the truck and removed everything. So that's all sitting on it. So some of y'all might be wondering, well, why don't you just buy a new set of these aftermarket lights? Well, it is cost effective enough to use this kit by Turtle Wax. This kit made by Turtle Wax is way cheaper than a whole new set of lights. It only costs $17.02 after tax. I will put a link down in the video description below to where you can buy this kit if you need it for your lights. All right, let's take a look at what we all get in this kit. So we get a good sized bottle of spray lubricant. This is four ounces. This is gonna be used when we are using the sandpaper squares that come in this kit. It also comes with a clear glove. It also comes with some lens clarifying compound. This is also a four ounce bottle. It also comes with these sanding squares. One thing that's really nice is that it says right on it, number one, number two, number three, and number four. So that way it's super simple to keep up with what grit a sandpaper that you're using on the headlight at what times. It is padded in between the different types of sanding paper. It also has a lens sealing wipe and a lens base coat wipe. So these two will be used when it comes time to seal the light back up. And that right there is what you get in the kit. So now that we've looked at the kit, let's go over to the truck and let's go get those headlights so we can get to work. 
So the first thing we need to do before we start working on our headlights is, again, number one, having them clean, washed off, no dirt and debris on them, no leftover bugs, clean them up. Then after that, then you need to use some blue masking tape around your headlight area where you're gonna work. So now that everything's prepped, the first thing that we have to do is use the lens clarifying compound and a towel and start working it on this headlight, buffing it and putting some elbow grease into it. So this is gonna be your first step at trying to get the headlight more clear and to work the surface. After this is when we go to the sanding disc if this doesn't get it all out. On these headlights, I'm not expecting this to get everything out, but let's see what improvement it makes. I'm actually pretty impressed. That actually pulled a lot of it out already. I see a few spots that I wanna hit a little bit more. So I'm gonna hit those a little bit more and see how good I can get it with that compound. Y'all, I'm really impressed with how much of an improvement that lens clarifying compound made. Look at how clear it looks. That light looks so much better. And you can even tell how much shine it has compared to this one down here. So this is after the lens clarifying compound. And let's go back to the other headlight. And that's how it looks before. I'm not sure if the camera will show it very well, but this one has the lens clarifying compound done. And that headlight over there does not. In person, I can tell a huge difference already. All right, next I'm gonna do some of that lens clarifying compound to the turn signal. All right, check that out. That made a big difference on that turn signal too. Let's take a look at it from the side. It's pretty crazy how good that worked. It looks much more clear than before. Let's compare it to the other side. This side is much more dull. It's not near as shiny as the other side.
This side looks almost like brand new, aside for some light bug marks. All right, so now this side is done with the lens clarifying compound. Now I'm gonna do the lens clarifying compound to the other side. I'll just show you quick before and afters of that side, then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so this is before the lens clarifier on the driver's side. Remember this part's pretty shiny already, always has been. So that's before, and here's the after. So I buffed on it with that lens clarifying compound. And that's how it looks afterwards. Really not too bad kind of hard it's kind of hard to pick up the remaining imperfections with a camera but overall if you're looking for just something quick you could just do this right here here's the before the turn signal all right now I finish the rest of this turn signal looking pretty good it's got just a little bit of pitting left which I'm not sure if the camera's showing but it's right on the surface across here looks like it's just from light rocks and also just bugs from them not getting washed off all right so on to the next step all right so now that we're done with our lens clarifying compound and it did work pretty good but there's still some more stuff on here that I want to get cleaned up. So we're going to use our spray lubricant and we're going to use our sanding pads. So I'll be using the green number one side to side like this while I'm trying to remove the worst of the imperfections. And then with the number two side, I will then go up and down like this. The kit says that as you go to the next ones, three and four, to do the same. So number three will be done the same way as number one, and number four the same way as number two. Number two, three, and four are all to be done for one minute each, per the instructions. After you do some sanding, dry it off and check and see how well you got the imperfections that you're going after. So now I'm doing number two in the opposite direction. If it starts to get too gritty, I'll wipe it off and re-wet.
Next up is number three. All right, next is number four. All right, so after your sanding is complete, you gotta go back over the headlight with the lens clarifying compound one more time. All right, now that I use the lens clarifier, this is how they look before applying the clear coat. You can see the clarity is there. They look so good. All right, I'm now all done with sanding and doing the lens clarifier on the headlight and also on this turn signal. They both turned out really, really good. Looking real nice and clear. They turned out really good. The next step is to clear them. So let's move on to that next step. Well, y'all, Mother Nature had some different plans for me. So I had to set up a little canopy here. So that way I could finish these headlights out of the rain. So I guess this is as good a time as any to say, if y'all would, please hit that like button. Also, please hit that subscribe button down below. Ring that notifications bell so that you get notified every time that I post a brand new video. I appreciate y'all's support and helping out the channel. Someday I'll be able to afford some more shop space and then I want to put up a canopy when I'm trying to do my lights and other mods. But for now, it is what it is. So here we go. We use the glove that they provided. And then first is the base coat wipe. We wipe down all four lenses as soon as it dries, which is supposed to happen pretty fast. I will then get out the lens sealing wipe and then wipe all four lenses with the lens sealing wipe. They say that you can drive the vehicle and use it immediately after this is dried, which again is supposed to happen relatively quick. And after 24 hours, it fully cures up. All right, so we've got the wipe. I'm just gonna wipe this all over the lens. All right, we'll let that dry. It kind of left a little bit of a clearish film on it. Now we're gonna take our clear coat wipe. We're gonna wipe it over it.
All right, now we'll let that dry. All right, now that clear coat's been applied. That lens is super shiny. I'm gonna get this blue tape removed, install the lights, and take a look at it all complete. Y'all, I'm really impressed with how good these headlights turned out. They really do look almost like new. Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think about the way these headlights turned out. Y'all don't forget to hit that subscribe button because coming up, I'm going to do a front end makeover on this truck. I'm going to replace the bumper, lower valance, and also change up some of this chrome and also do some color matching. So y'all be sure to stay tuned for that coming up. I appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. I appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.